Hi, this is Dr. Paul Singh describing an eye stent inject procedure teaching video, uh, focusing primarily on the importance of proper visualization during the entire procedure. Uh, here we are after implanting the IOL, hydrating the paracentesis, and then injecting viscoelastic here, a cohesive viscoelastic, to give ourselves enough uh, space to operate and to view with the uh, gonia prism. Uh, putting viscoelastic on the cornea, and then I like to rotate the head about 25 degrees or so, and the scope as well, 25 to 30 degrees, to give ourselves a nice view of the entire angle with our gonia prism. And this is probably the most important part and probably the most important uh, learning curve is finding that good view. Here I am not able to see the angle very well, and uh, as a still here, you can see as I zoom in, I can see the trabecular meshwork here, but it doesn't appear that the trabecular meshwork is pointing at me like an on -foss view. It almost appears that the TM is pointed downward. And so I'm going to actually rotate it just a little bit more and then also rotate the scope a little bit more as well nasally. And now you can see what kind of a view I get. Now I have a beautiful view of the trabecular meshwork, but also I have a good view of the scleral spur and the slurry body band. And this view is important. It's almost like the TM is facing me directly and perpendicular to me. And now I have a good view of the trabecular meshwork. And now you can also see with this arrow, uh, the, the scleral spur as well. This is the view you want, it's almost like the TM pointed at you. And as I show you this comparison picture on the left, which is the first view, and on the right, the view we just perceived here by turning the head more, you want that on foss view during the entire procedure to be as perpendicular to the TM with your uh, loader of the eye stent. So now I'm, loading, I'm injecting the eye stent here, or introducing it to the eye rather, retracting the sleeve, and now I'm going to actually turn my hand a little bit more. At first, you see here, in slow motion, I engage it, but I'm a little bit more at an angle. So I'm going to turn my hand in almost to the right of the, of the wound, use my wound as a fulcrum, and now I'm more perpendicular to the TM. Therefore, for a no trocar bias. I push a little too aggressive there, so I'm going to relax a little bit first and then inject the eye stent and press that button. I'm going to turn for about two o'clock hours away, but now I'm seeing the chambers flattening a little bit there and I see some more folds in the cornea. So don't worry, just kind of come out, take an extra step, fill the anterior chamber with some more cohesive viscoelastic here and put some more on the cornea. And by doing that, you're going to give yourself a little better view. Now a nice view, a good deep chamber, dimple, Press the button, release, and see the eye set inject in beautiful position. Two clock hours away with a nice reflux of blood indicating good placement and good uh, connection into the venous system. Now I'm going to remove viscoelastic like any other cataract surgery. And what's kind of cool and I love seeing is the blanching you see at, when, while removing viscoelastic. And you can see here in, in slow motion how the blanching of the episcleral perilimbal vessels occur. And in fact, if you look at a still on the left just before we... Uh, are we're doing INA. See up top even in that blood vessel there, the smaller vessel there is now blanched and, and gone by removing INA and removing viscoelastic. Uh, but thank you so much for watching this video. Please feel free to email me anytime if you have any comments or questions. Thanks again.